Welcome back. This is Julie with Craft with Julie, and we are going to create this layout right here. This is more fun. With all the fun little banners, these adorable little die cuts, and of course, some more banners on this side. So, this one actually goes together pretty quick and easy. Um, I think the hardest part is actually just stamping and getting um, the die cuts prepped and colored. So let's go ahead and start with that. Um, hopefully you were able to cut um, your papers and your thin cuts and all that fun stuff. And uh, let's go ahead and get these prepped. So in the instructions, I kind of have a section where it says the prep and the coloring. So um, let's see, let's put these aside and then we have three trees, or actually four, four trees we need to stamp um, our stick, two fires, the little bear, some, the marshmallow bag, the tent, and I think that is all that we need to trim, or not trim, sorry, stamp. So let's go ahead and get those stamps. So let's start with the tent. Okay, and we cut the tent. Oh, my mat is not straight. There we go. <laughs> Can't have my close to my heart. Um, in the wrong spot, right? Okay, so we're gonna stamp it in black ink. I'm just using intense black because that's what I have on my desk. And let's stamp that. Okay, and I actually went and grabbed my um, stamp chamois so now I can clean them off when I am done. Okay. So I have that one done, and then let's do the tree. Have this one from our last cards. Okay, so on the trees, I'm going to do two on the dark pine and two on the light pine. I'm just gonna stamp those, and line those up. And still, re still using the black. There we go. And let's do the fire next. So these are done. I'm just gonna set them at the top of my workspace, get them out of the way. I'm going to stamp it in on the toffee and the candy apple, kind of just like we did the card. We're going to cut it out and layer. Okay. Then we have this adorable bear. I stamp him on the burlap. And then we have the marshmallow bag. I stamp that. We're gonna need to color that, so I'm just gonna leave it here for a second. And then the marshmallow stick. And we're going to stamp that, and then we need to color it as well. Okay. And I think that is all the stamping. We'll, we'll do a little bit with the mink. Oh, we need to do the heart. Okay, so I actually used the heart 
on the stamp set. So you can choose. You can use a hard off of the stamp set or you can use um, the dots that we use for the cards. And we're going to stamp a little heart right there on the tent. And I think I'm just looking at my layout really quick. I think that's it. So for our coloring, we need to color the bear too. Um, we're going to color the bear and the marshmallow stick using the gold blend for gold brown blend. So just like the card, we're going to do his little belly with a light. And then his snout. Okay. And then the stick, I'm going to just put a little toasted on the marshmallow. And then use the dark for the stick. It's a little hard to color when it's so little. So I just lightly add some color so then I don't go outside the lines. And then the bag of marshmallows, we're going to use the brown gray blend. I'm going to use the light to color in the bag. And then I'll come back with the dark to add some lines on those stitch lines. Okay. And then dark. Right over the stitch lines. All right. Okay. And then what we want to do and put that, that aside. I think we're done with the stamping. Um, on these banner pieces, we want to go ahead and dovetail them. So with your scissors, all you want to do is just snip up the center and then go from side to side. They don't have to be perfect. Um, you can use one as a template after you've cut one if you'd like, but I, I don't know. I don't fret too much about it. Um, they all turn out just fine, and you usually can't tell if there's one that's a little off or not. And we're going to do that for all of the banners. All these fun colors in this mix-in collection. Are you loving this mix-in paper packet? Like I said in the card class, I really have purchased like, um, oh, it's the lines. So we're doing the lines. Um, I think I'm on my fourth paper packet because only one sheet comes in each one. I can't remember. There's not that m much in, in a packet, but they're pretty inexpensive too. So I've gotten like four and I'm still using it. So anyway, it is a good paper packet, especially for this camping theme. So on the yellow, I'm using the burlap, like the burlap side, but you can totally flip it over and change the colors if you would like. Or my, did I do the, yep, I did the burlap. So I designed these in advance so I can show you guys what we're going to be making and sometimes I forget. <laughs> I don't know what it is about with my memory lately, but it is not as good as it used to be. Okay, one more, sorry. And there we go. Okay, and then the last thing to prep is take your little fire and we're going to cut candy apple flames and attach them to the toffee just like we did for the card. And that is pretty much all the prep. We will stamp 
with the mink in just a minute. All right, okay, let's put these aside. And let's start with our left side. Bring this over, make sure everything, you can see everything. Okay, yes, I did move my camera so everything can be in frame. Okay. All right. Now we only did one layout this time because um, the mix in paper doesn't come with that much paper. Like you only get one sheet of each. So that is why we only did one layout this time. So you will have one of the mountains. Save the other one for our next page. And then you'll have two of the wood. The other two are for the second page. These little strips are for page two. You'll need two strips of pine and then one of the mink. And we're going to use the light side, okay? So let's start assembling. We're going to just add this wood grain on the top and you can see there's two options. So you can decide if you want this, this one or this one. I chose this one. It's totally up to you and what kind of look you want to get. And then let's put our mink piece, goes right below that. Put the adhesive on the dark side. Okay, and then we're going to do our wood grain on the bottom. Okay, so now let's add our pine. I'm using the dark, so I'm putting the adhesive on the light side, and I'm just adding it right there in the center. And same right here. Oops, a little mountain. Okay. All right, so then let's add our banner. I'll grab your banner pieces. And I started with the line, then the yellow burlap and the stripes and the brown burlap and then the flowers. And they kind of start about at the 10 inch mark and go to about the five and a fourth. So you can start with the 10 inch about right here and kind of start angling them up. And then I'm going to put the five fourth right there, angling down. And then I can just kind of add these fall in place. Now I am using Close to My Heart's tape runner, so if I do mess up, I can lift it up and reposition it. Um, I love that about our tape runner. And then after it sits, it becomes um, permanent. Okay, so easy peasy on the banner, right? Okay, so if you do not have a photo yet, for this little spot right here, that's totally fine. We can still add our mountain. So I'm just going to add a titch of glue across the bottom so you can slip that photo right underneath it when you have it, okay? And then we need our trees. And I'm going to do one of each. I have a light one and a dark one. And this one I'm going to use 3D foam on. Just to give it a little bit of a pop. Right there off to the side. And then this one I'm going to put right underneath. 
Okay, and you should be able to slip in your photo right here. So this is a four by six, this is three by four and three by four, or you do four by six, four by six. It's totally up to you what photo size you wanna put there. Okay, now let's do our, I think I might have, Cut one more, two, one more piece than I should have. Maybe I didn't. Do 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 do. Hmm. I think I lost one of the pieces because I had um, a burlap piece. I know I cut it under this. Um, it's probably here somewhere. Okay. So you should have a piece, um, the yellow burlap piece, to put underneath the tent flap. And I will need to find mine. And then uh, our little teddy bear. I'm just kind of building this little scene right here. Um, right there. And a little marshmallow stick in his hand. And then the fire, I'm going to use 3D foam on. And right there. And then our little marshmallow bag. We can add it right there under the trees. About right there. Okay, so we have our cute little scene we're going to use the um, star stamp. Like, oh, there it is. I'm like, where did the stamp set go? So this little stars, we're going to add a couple around uh, on the mink. So grab your mink ink. And we're going to add just a couple little splashes of stars down here. Um, one up right above the trees. You can put one over here. Just kind of around where your photos are. Just add a little bit something to that mink. Okay. I think that is all for the stamping. So now we can start adding our accents. Okay, so we have our crisp air accents, and we have all kinds of fun shapes and colors you can use. You can pick and choose what you'd like. Um, I'm going to use this papaya heart to put on the marshmallow bag. I thought that would be really cute. And then one of these glitter hearts, I added that onto the burlap banner and then let's add our title and that is with our wood die cuts and I think I have all of the right letters it would probably it wouldn't surprise me if something went missing <laughs> how our day is going today or my day I guess I should say something will probably be gone okay so let's grab um we're gonna smell, smell, spell out s'more fun, or you can change it to whatever you would like. That's what's great about these titles is um, you can spell out whatever you want. Okay, F-U-N, and I have an extra something. Okay, so you can just place it however you would like. And then I'm going to use some liquid glue to attach it down. Hey, did you guys enjoy using the thin cuts instead of stickers or do you prefer the stickers? Yes, we've done both before. And next month, 
I'm, we're going to be using some Picture My Life cards for cards and layouts. So I'm going to show you how to use some pocket scrapbooking. So stay tuned for a sneak peek of those projects. Just add them on there. So this is the wood grain alphabet. I think I mentioned in the last video that we have um, a lot of different styles of alphabets now in die cuts, which is really cool. I thought this wood grain one went really well with our theme. It's more fun. Hey, okay. I know my family needs to go camping so we can have some pictures. I actually have a lot of pictures from past years that we went camping, so I can put them on here. All right, so then I'm adding a heart and a little green dot to right there. And then I'm going to add a yellow dot, kind of like a period after the fun. Okay, so I think that is all for page number one. All right, okay, now let's do page number two. Pull that out. Ta-da, okay. Oh, and I didn't mention, we're matting this, uh, or we're laying, oh my goodness, we're using <laughs> white cardstock as our base. There we go. I get it out eventually. Okay, so it's basically just a carbon copy of the last one we did. So let's go ahead and add our wood grain. To the top. And then our mink cardstock. Remember we're going to use the light side. So we're putting the adhesive on the dark side. And then our wood grain. Okay. And then our pine cardstock for the border. There we go. Okay. All right, so now we can add our border. This one, you are going to start about the seven and a fourth, and we're going to end at about nine and three fourths. So maybe that helps you figure out where these go. Maybe, let's see, hold on. So almost to the 10. And then almost to the seven. There we go. And you just kind of play with those a little bit and then we can put them on. You can pop them up if you'd like. I just leave them flat. I prefer my scrapbook pages to be a little more on the flat side so they don't bulk up too much. I don't know. Do you guys like to add a lot of accents to your scrapbook pages. I mean, cards for sure, we're gonna be using that 3D foam, but for layouts, I don't do it so much. Okay. And, oops, there we go. And again, we'll add a little sticker to that. Okay, so here's our mountains. And I'm just going to add it across the bottom so we can add a photo. And it goes about, about a half inch or so. And then the same with the trees. I'm going to add one with adhesive and then with 3D foam. Add a little bit of dimension like that. And then I have these little strips of the 
Is it shortbread? And for journaling. So you can add these or not. That's totally up to you. But I thought this color added something a little fun over here in this corner. So they're just little strips of for journaling. And one more. And then I'm going to add some of these dots next to it, kind of just like bullet points. There's a yellow one. You could do the hearts, um, whatever you want to do. And then, oh, the glitter one. We've got to put a glitter one in here. And then another glitter heart up on the burlap um, banner. All right. So there we go. Let me grab the other page. Hold on. I put it on the floor. So I got to bend over and grab it. Okay. Oh, you know what I forgot? To put more of those stars. Hold on. So get some, your mink ink and your old star stamp. And you can add some more of those stars around on this side. Okay. There we go. There is our layout. What do you think? Was this super fun to put together? I just love all the little die cuts and all the fun little icons. And of course, um, s'more fun because s'mores are the best. So you can find all of these supplies on my website, which is juliescott.closetomyheart.com if you'd like to create, recreate these. And then when you place an order on my website, I will send you the workshop guide for free. And um, let's see, oh, so now we're going to clean up these and then we are going to um, create the stamp of the month cards for August. So if you have the packet already, grab those. If not, the stamp of the month is still available and I'll talk about that in just a minute. So come back in just a few and we'll create some more cards. See you in a minute.